Frank McCoy. Is that correct? Oh, yes. There you okay, go. That's that great. brilliant. That I haven't brilliant. butchered it. Wonderful. Thank you for being here, man. I appreciate it. Uh, Frank, give me give me a little bit of the story of Frank. I know a lot of people think that like uh, the story is irrelevant and everything, but it also gives a contextual framework for some people. So, could you give us a story about how oh. you sort of <laughs> how you sort of you want an elevator it. pitch? You want what? an elevator pitch? I is that, is that what this that. is? Yeah, I don't have an elevator pitch. No. <laughs> what, what are you looking to find out when you're because people I, I know from. When I was uh, uh, running around in circles, that it was, it had utility to uh, hear people's sort of life journey and life experience in order to get to the point where they were at. Mm. So I'd like to, if if you're open to it, just uh, maybe a lot of these conversations tend to flow. Uh, towards is there some sort of process that people go through in order to recognize uh this or mm-hmm. or is is it a spontaneous happening and i think people need that contextual outlook sometimes well you see um in a way really the uh there isn't it, it's kind of the end you see how you see when you describe well this recognition or this arrival or this process i think really that's the kind of most interesting thing really because every 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 everything in life is about getting from a to b mm. really like no matter what it is it's getting from a to b it's like a cup of coffee starting a cup of coffee and getting to the end of the cup of coffee and then this is the one thing let's just say that is already the case it's already the case and that's why then to talk about a process of getting there it's in in a way the getting there is the end of all the ideas of getting there of liberation it's the end of all those but that's the if there's lost in that idea that there is a process that there is a recognition then that's the that's the kind of then dilemma if you know what i mean Mm. because um really the, the, it's already the case so then what's what can be said about this you know what we're talking about what can be said about it well whatever appears to be spontaneously said and that the point then of all this and the only and the suggestion in these sorts of communications is is that there's already no one so then that's no one asking the question and this is no one responding now uh, that is is a phenomenal and absolutely useless suggestion at the same time it's it's wonderfully wonderfully free because what can happen if there's no one in there and for whom can there be recognition you know so that in a way that's the kind of dilemma these sorts of conversations which i obviously mm. used to ask questions and uh and in a way, it's kind of beautiful because really, um, it just when we before we pressed record there, when you were saying this is the last time I'm ever going to do one of these stupid conversations, <laughs> is, is, is exactly it's exactly what I used to say. But you see, it that's why in in in, a, in, a, in an amazing way, it's so beyond the sentences. It's mm. because if it was just about a few sentences, like there's no one or there's just what's appearing to happen or this is nothing appearing to happen. If it was just about those sentences, right? Then there's no way there'd be another interview. There's no way there'd be another conversation because it'd be done and dusted. It's just that each of those are sort of mind breakers. They kill the fucking brain because, you know, the person's just used to eating the world, eating, getting information and things being useful. And this is the one that it actually has everything so it's free then to be in a way that's why you could say you're never going to do another one of these and then suddenly that the, it'll happen just because it just happens and it just mm. so happens and really there's nothing in it for you and yet it's the kind of gift you let's just say and this has kind of been flattering about it, but nothing is the gift that keeps on giving because you never get to the bottom of it or the top of it because it's nothing and so then mm. it's just just con a con conversation without a point, and you know, what you have to have a point. <laughs> mm. So, 
So I think that's the kind of dilemma, isn't it? Like that's the amazingness. And you see, it's it's a it's a killer because who can get to here? Yeah. Who can I think, get to, yeah. I think that where the question comes from is the I don't know, let's say that, that 10 people I've spoke to Jim Newman and people of that of similar, you know, teachings, let's call them. They all went on what is perceived to be by the body mind organism, let's call it that, a process of let's call it psychology, spirituality, all that stuff mm. in the dream. And then they get to this message. So the seem there is a seeming process to the body mind organism that that occurs. Mm. And when I say things like this to people like yourself who who radically just do pew, yep, yeah, that, you know, um, that's sort of the paradox that I find myself in, whereby we all seem to, I say we, people all seem to go through this to hit the point of so-called non-dualism. Yeah. So, uh, well, let's play with that, though, because I think it's, it, is, it is interesting in the sense of... Uh, Really, though, what's wanted is a top line story. In other words, the, you know, a summary version. Mm. You don't want to know what I had for breakfast. You don't want to know um, uh, what the weather was like or the wind on my face or the seeing of a fucking tree or picking up dog shit or putting out the bins or mm. I, I'm just, you know, I'm just kind of playing with the idea of that, that that's that see, what seems to happen is wanting of a story that's digestible, a headline and an arrival, an arc almost. And like we're all it's that's that's just seems to be how it is, because we are, let's just say, story makers mm. and ev and everything is that then. And I think it is kind of really, you know, and you know, you could say, well, uh, the the story could be endless, boundless encyclopedias, because where does it begin and end? Does, does it begin with the birth? I, I'm just toying with the, with the idea. Mm. Does it begin with the birth of uh, Frank or is this his grandparents? Or was it when his grand, uh, uh, great, great grandfather had a drink of whiskey one day and you know, blah 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 blah. What I'm I, I'm saying is, what really is wanted is a top line story of doing X, Y, and Z, and then all was revealed. And we can like, I'm very happy to go anywhere you want to go. I'm just, kind mm. of, I, I kind of find it interesting because that's what really is wanted, not how much milk you put in your coffee, or mm. it, it's the summary. I suppose that's purpose. You you have a purpose driving towards something. But it's also something then it's digestible. So then that I can know it and understand it. And really these sorts of communications are about everything being not one tiny thing being understandable, really. And that it, like say even like a take a tiny piece of dirt, a tiny piece of dirt is seen as it's just a piece of dirt, as mm. opposed to you could tell encyclopedias about cartilage and bone and mycelium <laughs> and fucking everything in a speck of dirt and it would be boundless boundless and so but the brain goes which that's just a speck of dirt i am here that's just a speck of dirt and i suppose in a way really if you're to get into the heart of it the heart of it is um everything this is boundless possibilities boundless everything and the story doesn't begin or end nor does the mystery begin or end that even mystery is mystery. Mm. And yet what the seeker in a way wants is something more. Let's just say there's a seeker wants it to be in a digestible format that it can be contained, it can be contained and compared to as, well, that's the story. And that's how it is. There's nothing wrong with that. That's the exact same. I'm just kind of curious now when you're, you know, the questions are there, really what is wanted is that. And maybe, and it's linear then to make it linear, to fit it in. Mm. And it's and it's anything in a way, but the sitting <laughs> and breathing and the phenomenality of just this, just this immediacy. Yeah. Really. Because my mind then goes, well, uh, at that point, the mind then, then turns around and goes, well, there's no point in doing anything. But then that also seems to me a misrepresentation of what's been said. But also, that's amazing, though, because it, it really is. Well, there's no point doing anything, right? That's totally okay, fully that. And then suddenly, there's a follow up to, 
you know that if you mm. know what I mean and it's like it, it's this that is just spontaneously happening there mm. Right? Mm. and even the but part even the but there's no point mm. but there's even that's just how it appears to be and so that's why this is so beyond the so beyond the words or the sentences because but it isn't far afield it isn't then suddenly what I used to dream was that when I heard it so beyond the sentences I used to dream well God it must be something can't be just ordinary sitting chewing the cud and the Mm. freedom of that it can't be that there has to be a purpose to it there has to be an answer there has Mm. to be an answer and somebody must know what this is really and actually Nothing is known. All the knowings, in a way, are elsewhere. What do you mean? Well, uh, all the knowings are elsewhere. So, in other words, you know about a a process. You know about the linear. You know about uh, whatever else. Whereas, there's, in a way, you could say this communication is, is saying that absolutely nothing is known. Which would be this, so something this, so known then, within itself by virtue of the statement. Yeah, in, in, which is, in actual fact, unknowable. So, you know, my website's called Unknowing. In mm. actual fact, unknowing isn't even known. And that's not something to hang your hat on either. So then you could say, well, it's just sentences. And I could stay silent mm. if I could stay silent. It doesn't seem like that with a couple of cups of coffee. <laughs> that might just keep going. But yeah, so it's it's also like, yeah, so it's like a mystery where even mystery is a mystery. Mm. And there's nothing here for the mind to grasp onto, which is why I, uh, I've i been so-called seeking for, say, 10 years or so. Yeah. Running around like a headless chicken, consuming everything I could get my hands on and sitting at the feet of people and all this shit. <laughs> And this was the, the, I can't remember who first I heard first speak about it, but it was the first time I thought, ah, that's the end. Because even then it was linear to me, even then it was a process that that's the thing I'm looking for. So even this became a seeking. Yeah. And I've, I see that sort of this in, in some of the um, teachers. I, you know, I'm not going to bash names or anything, but it seems that they're just repeating things. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and in a way, you see, the, I, I, the words and sentences can be mimic, mimicked, but the energy mm. can't be. Because yeah. really at the core, nothing is being described. Really, nothing really has been volunteered either. And even like, you know, this idea of loss of self and liberation and all will be revealed. In actual fact, it's the end of the idea of liberation. It's the end of the idea of a, a loss of self, it, you see. And so, so th- then somehow, like you could say, I, like for a while, I was kind of going, why would anybody ever uh, say anything, volunteer anything, write stuff on a website, mm. stay, have meetings, but sure, it's just happening. Like, so there's no one doing anything. There's no one anywhere in the entire universe. So there's nobody blowing the fucking trees <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, growing the grass, thinking the thoughts and feeling the feelings. There's just that though. So then you see that in a way that can only be heard as a sort of a, a denial then, but it's not a denial of anything. It's, um, so it's not, it's, yeah, it's a killer because it appears like something has been said and that something is being explained or described but it's um, it's sort of just you could say well it's just happening. So it's amazing then that there's a sort of chat here, like yeah. So you would you say that it's a purely energetic thing? You say you're behind the words. Do you mean like a, a field of energy that's just being produced by nobody? Well, in actual fact, everything really is that. Everything is energetic. Everything is just happening. But in a way, let's just say in these sorts of conversations or meetings, that is kind of exposed because 
really, really, really nothing is being said or described. And yet somehow then there's a sort of a kind of a wanting to get to the bottom of nothing. I want, you know, or trying to get something out of nothing. And so that's why, like, this here is nothing to do with us, you know, me trying to explain something to you um, because the conversation would be over. It would be, OK, I get what you're saying about there's no, no self and there's just what's appeared to happen. That's it. Then. But really, it's it's the one thing. It, it's something else. And what's this something else? It's energetic. It's a or but then energetic isn't a thing then. Mm. Energetic isn't something that is apart from this isness. And so, you know, and even calling it isness or what is, or this is nothing appearing to happen, it can't be then seen then. So, so you know, all there is is then just the hearing of a voice, mm. right? Or, or, or then there's just hearing and then it's just sound or nothing. Yeah. I mean, nothing appearing to happen. I've heard that countless times. Yeah. Shit, isn't it? Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. But but like when... Well, or, it's, or it's nothing full to the brim with the hearing of this is nothing appearing to happen. So it's full also. It's full. It's this, like it's the mm. hearing of a voice now. Mm. And actually, the point of this sentence is, is not to make a point. The point is the sentence, it's the sound. Yes. It's just this. And then mm. what can be said about that? Actually, whatever will be said and whatever then will be thought and asked about it. Yeah. You see, in, in the world, the, I don't know, I'll call it a dream just because I've heard it called a dream. So I'll just call it a dream for the sake of that. There's a lot of shit, seeming shit. Mm. I'm in real estate and... The amount of shit that's going on right now is like good fun. So if I if I were to communicate this, everything becomes sort of obsolete in in how one gives meaning or purpose or something to that, these events. So in terms of like utility in the world, there's absolutely nothing there, is there? Absolutely useless, yeah. And amazingly, like I, I used to uh, you know, this idea of if I was to communicate this, the killer is that there isn't a communication and I'm mm. not communicating anything. Mm. That's the killer. And in a way, you see, it's it's really. I, I used to say, well, I'll never speak unless I know this. Yeah, I never. Yeah, but actually, yeah. there's just speaking and there's no knowing. But there, there's just asking questions and there's no knowing. It's just suddenly question, voomp. Amazing. And it's the exact same. And actually, really, it's not even it's question and response. And so that's why, you know, that's why in a way it can be felt like this is it or it's over when this is heard, because it is always over. But there isn't a kind of point then where, oh, suddenly it's over. It's it's there isn't a point. This it's always this. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. But it's absolutely useless. It's 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 useless, and it's the worst possible communication. It's mm. the worst possible. It's uh, it's amazing. I was talking to my missus about it this morning, who she absolutely hates this, and I, I, <laughs> I was going, "It's amazing, and it's horrendous. It's horrendous because there's, uh, uh, you've been told there's no one there already. That this is just happening." So it's, mm. and that's just descriptive. So then, so, but it's also then boundlessly free. But then when you say boundlessly free, it gives an image of, well, he's got boundless freedom. He doesn't have anything at all. Mm. So the, the, you know, um, it's, it's, it is useless though. It's fucking, uh, yeah, it's never going to be fashionable anytime soon. No, no. And it changed the definition for me of what freedom, you've used that word a few times, of what freedom actually was. I always I always sort of put it to me, free in the world, that, I don't know, I had freedom to move around or freedom of money or something. Yeah. Whereas the, the, the sort of the definition, if you like, of the word freedom completely changed mm -hmm. by hearing, uh, I think it was probably Tony Parsons or one of those guys. In a way, it's a freedom beyond the bound 
worded idea of what or an image of what freedom could be, should be or would be. Mm. So then it's not even freedom. It's not anything at all. But you could say it's free to be oh. however it appears to be being, which includes <clears throat> feeling constrained or whatever. Mm. But then it's not an it's either. So. <laughs> yeah, so. <sighs> struggling where to go here. So, you know, like religion and things like this, let's let's call them the, the spiritual marketplace. Yeah. Do you think that that like the the body mind organism, uh, let's call it that again, has sort of created something like that in order to sort of scratch this itch? I suppose I'm asking you a question. Do you know the answer to this? I don't. I don't know. But well, you see, to that which is it's annoying is just that there's just what is or what's appearing, and it seems to include everything. Is it? And it. Um. I mean, it seems to be just boundless boundless, endless stories of what mm. this is. Mm. And it's amazing. Like, you just look at the Catholic Church, which, uh, you know, I was raised a Catholic, and it's stunning in terms of the theatre, mm. the dress and the clothing and the appearing as holy and being anointed a, a certain role dressed in white before a mouth even is opened. And it is, this is the theatre of dreams and nightmares, but mm. it just seems to be that everywhere. And it's it's kind of like, you know, from an opinion perspective, you could say, well, uh, perhaps glimpses were had of this or, so, you know, some sort of an expansive experience was had, let's just say. And then that uh, it was kind of like, well, I can show you how to get that expansive experience through praying for hours or meditating or fasting or climbing up or whatever. And it's it's just seems to be boundless stories. And it's like um you know Jesus seemed like he was half decent crack, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it seemed like he was a decent enough chap. But then like it's like I I always remember as a kid hearing the idea of Chinese whispers and doing it in a room with 30 other kids. And I kind of love that as a, an analogy for anything. And like, it would even be, well, even if nothing, this is nothing appearing to happen, right? Mm. And the distortion of what that can become by the time it gets to the 30th human. And you see, because nothing is imagined as a thing and it's grey and murky, right? And everything is seen as pretty big. That's pretty big, everything. And again, it's another image bound by another story of what it, of everything is and nothing is. So you could delete those words. It won't mm. be the boundless won't be held by a word called boundless either. Mm. So then what can be said? Well, it's whatever appears to be said, really. But um, and it doesn't matter. But religions, yeah, I mean, it's just it's 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 gods and kings and theatre. It's always somebody in the know and somebody who doesn't know. And I think you could say that it, it goes right back to uh, being a child and suddenly there's daddy and mammy and they know what the world is. And then it's kind of that authority really never goes away. It really never goes away that mm. somebody then must know. And so then that's, uh, priests and bosses and politicians and kings and slaves. Mm. Somebody must know the idea that nobody knows mm. that this is that the, that nothing needs to be known. That that there's just this. There's just this. That's not good for the story maker. I can't do much no. with this. Just what's appearing to happen. I can't do much with that. But. Stories are told. Even saying it's a story is a story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's talk about... <clears throat> um, I sort of... I don't know the answer to this, but I think I know where the, the, the conversation will move to. Right. Um, choice. Yeah. Uh, I don't like to use, to use the word free will, but choice. Mm -hmm. Is there a choice here to ask the question I'm asking... No, there's just asking that question. Because there's no one to ask. 
including the thoughts about whether I'll ask this and I know the answer and, oh, I know what's going to be said and I know uh, there's no point asking this question, but I'll ask it anyway. All of that is just yeah. spontaneously happening. All of it. Lock, stock and two smoking barrels is just happening. See, we may as well just fuck off now, won't we, and go and have a cup of coffee. Do you know what I mean? But we'll just yeah. stop recording and then we'll just have a chat about, I don't know, football or rugby or whatever you're into or music or something. Well, you see, there you go. That's exactly, that's exactly this. That's exactly. Talking about football is the same as talking about anything, uh, uh, this non-duality. There isn't non-duality. No. So, but you see, in a way, it's kind of like, well, uh, okay, well, let's just stop this now and go and talk about whatever. Okay. Mm. And then that appears like, well, there's a choice to stop this then. Maybe it'll be just stopping this and talking about something else. Mm. You know, so it's it's then, you see, it's lost. There's a lost in the image that there's non-duality and something to get to, maybe, right? Yeah. yeah. And this just repeat, it's repeatedly returns to just this, just this conversation appearing to happen that this is the mystery. Now, who fucking wants to know about that? No one. Mm. <laughs> or it's very rare, but obviously yeah, yeah. it's somehow yeah. just happening. And it's not special. It's not important. And it's a miracle that there's even, you know, this this sort of conversation happening. Just this, like, it's a kind of in the scheme of how the world operates. And uh, because it's always about getting something. So that's, and yet here, apparently there's nothing to get and still somehow there's this lack. Mm. Yeah. So the body-mind organism tends to do everything it can to avoid this. Um, is that is that to maintain its sense of self well you see you, you see the, the the curse is that there's just this the, so that's yeah. it, it's just that like you can it, it's it, there's just that appearing to happen so it's like as if oh something then is getting in the way of this being this no nothing's mm. getting in the way of this being yeah. this. but there can be lost in the image of something getting in the way of this that, that's also this mm. That's, you know, <laughs> so you can't actually avoid it. You can't try to, you can't escape it, but trying to escape it would also be this. Yeah. So it's it's like unavoidably every thought, unavoidably. That's, you know, it's a fucking absolute killer because, <laughs> you know, don't tell me it's every thought. Don't tell me it's every shitty trait yeah. that was ever there. Don't tell me that, uh, um, I never did a thing. Mm. It renders like the whole personal development of being all down that path, and it frustrates the life out of me how much money I wasted doing it. Um, because it just renders everything so obsolete, right? <clears throat> well, you see, the, in a way, there's no one in there that can be fixed, but there was no one in there choosing to go down that personal development route. It just seems to be, you know, it's kind of exciting. It's like, you know, the bookcases here are full of books with 10 steps, but you'd always get bored after a step, mm -hmm. <laughs> you sure. know, because it somehow it was apparent. And somehow when, in a way, this it's sort of repellent and attractive because there's nothing in it for you. And yet imagine a scenario whereby this could be then anointed upon. This could mm. be anointed upon or bound by a few sentences or captured and then you'd be going, okay, Alex, Alex is no longer there. Woo! Which the, where is Alex? Where does Alex begin and end? You know, it's, 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 so it's, it's, it's repellent and also because it's utterly authorityless, because you know, it'd be like going around saying, uh, oh, I've discovered there's no self. All oh, right. Well, that's great. Or there is a self. All oh, right. That's great, too. But there's just this. There's just what's appearing or just how things are. And all oh, the rest of the story, like, and you see, I think even it's always. 
lost in images of, oh, well, I had a glimpse now. And it then it's the, lost in the image. Well, it's the glimpse, but it can't be sitting the, here. But that's just how it is till. Mm. And, and then, you know, when a seeking, let's just say, appears to stop. Well, what will, <laughs> what would be said about that? Well, whatever appears to be being said, but it won't be a thing that needs to be remembered because nothing needs to be remembered. And it won't have to be referred to and you won't have to check your notes. Mm. You won't have to, you know. Mm. Remarkably ordinary. Yeah. Mm. Ordinary, yeah. So, you know, after we finish this conversation and do what needs to be done with it, this conversation still happened because at that moment it won't have happened, will it? It won't be happening. But this conversation still happened. Well, um, a... <laughs> there might be a recording but mm. you can't you can't hold on to an a drop of this you can't have this mm. even the attempt to want to have this is this and you can't hold on or you can't catch your attempt to want to catch this it is uncatchable appearing as the word uncatchable and it's inescapably falling through the senses as you as every thought every feeling every question everything as you so even that then of <laughs> wanting that to be real and true is just happening and you can't hold on to that either mm. everything is kind of rebooting and collapsing in every breath dissolving and reforming and it's just then really nothing. Yeah. Nothing. But nothing isn't a thing then. But nothing is so annoying for the mind because it's just nothing. And all that can be done with that is it's grey and murky and a bit a bit off, a bit shit, yeah. a bit pointless. And then it can be lost in the idea of, oh, it's pointless and meaningless. And really, uh, that's another image then of what this is. Something else to make it somewhat real. Oh, it's pointless then. All right. Mm. Yeah, well, I can live with that pointlessness. I've got no fucking choice, really, have I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Frank, I, I really don't know where to go. You've, uh, yeah, these conversations tend to just drift and go when they need to go. And uh, is there anything you want to? I know you do your own your shows and everything. Is there anything you want to tell anybody? Uh, no, no. Okay, well, Frank, there's nowhere else for this conversation to go. It's it's run its course. It's done. Uh, I've loved speaking. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I've loved speaking to you. Um, I had a strike on YouTube this morning for something, so I can't Ooh. upload it for another week. Okay. So um, yeah, it'll go yeah. on next yeah, week. I, I've got a few of those actually. Um, oh, congratulations to you! You must be yeah. saying something. 